Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Hopkins. For today, I am going to be your developer advocate. And what we're going to be doing in this video is checking out Uru. What this is, is a huge suite of software, essentially, that does almost anything you're going to need to help you manage and run your business. This is their main website. If we scroll down a little bit, you could see some of the tools and applications they have. So essentially you install Udo software and then you can install applications on top of that. Here we have boost your sales. So we have a client relationship management software, POS, sales, e-commerce, invoicing, accounting, email, marketing, project management, timesheets, inventory. You could build websites through this and really a whole lot more. And if I click and many more, you get a good list of just about everything that this piece of software can offer you from marketing apps, service apps, productivity apps, and of course they have their customization tool. Now this is obviously a lot of stuff going on. So I'm not going to be able to dive into every single little aspect about this, but what we can do is show you how easy it is to go ahead and set up over here on the Akamai connected cloud, get it up and running and then demonstrate a couple of the applications. So with all that, let's go ahead and dive on in. Now, most of these marketplace applications here on Akamai do have their very own guides associated with it, which cover all the different configuration variables and options that you're going to have. So I do kind of recommend following along with this as it will go into more detail of some of the things that I will be covering. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. To do this, we go to the Akamai Cloud Dashboard. We go and create our very own Linode. So we click Create Linode. It takes us to this page. We're going to want to go to this Marketplace tab here. I searched for the app, selected it, and then that's when we get some of these options. Now we are going to be doing this with a domain, and I have a domain over here on the Akamai domain name manager. I'm going to be using this hopkey.net domain, which I use a lot for doing kind of examples and tests. If you don't know how to set up a domain on here, we'll go ahead and link to a guide down below. It's a really easy process. You just input the name servers into your registrar and you're good to go. Once you do have your domain set up in here, you could go to the API tokens. Again, you can see I definitely test this out quite a bit. I'm going to create a personal access token and I'm going to call this Udo. Full read write access. I'm going to create the token and then copy it. What this is going to do is allow the Linode kind of a marketplace building tool to communicate with the domain name manager to automatically set up your A records so then it can automatically pull your SSL certificates. It makes the whole process just significantly easy. So let's jump back over here. We're going to want to input an email address for the SSL certificate. This right here is going to be our password. And then from here we have our limited pseudo user. So I'm just going to call it Brandon and then give that user a password. Always make sure your passwords are super strong, super safe, super secure. We have the option for an SSH public key. I do recommend you look into that. I'm not going to disable root access over SSH for now. Here is your Linode API token. So we're going to paste that in. That's what we just copied. And for our subdomain, we're going to do something like make sure it's not taken here in my list of eight records. Udo. And then the domain is going to be hopkey.net. Obviously replace this stuff with the actual information you plan on using. For the region, it's good to pick a server that's closest to you or closest to whomever your target audience happens to be. So I'm going to go with US West. Here under Linode plan, we're going to go with the shared one gig. You can obviously upgrade this later as you add more apps, more users are actually using this application. And if you go ahead and use the link down below, you get a hundred dollar 60 day credit for new users. If you do want to go ahead and try this out today, follow along with this video. So from there, we can scroll down and tried to create a tag with the last application I was testing out. I'm going to get rid of that. Personally, I like to replace my Linode labels with the actual domain that is associated with it. So I'll just add udu.hopkey.net and then root password make this super strong, super secure, like always. Here you can import your SSH keys if you'd like to. I'm going to skip that for now and let's create the Linode. So there we go. Now it's going to go ahead and start provisioning and there we go. It's booting and running. So if I launch the Lish console, this is basically a online terminal emulator. The cool thing about this is it lets you see what's going on in the back end. So we can actually kind of watch the installation process for these marketplace applications that we install. Hey, look at that. It's finished propagating. So the website should be working already. Obtaining new certificate, waiting for verification. And there we go. It took about 10 minutes or so to get completely up and running. So do be patient with it. I'll set it up, come back a little bit later and then proceed with the setup process. So here we are. This is our database selector or database manager. I'm going to call the database just Udo. 
we have here the master password. I do recommend you save this somewhere or change it to something of your preference. Give yourself a password, put in your phone number for this one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And if you do want to, you could throw in some demo data just to see what it has to offer. And I'll actually go ahead and do that. If I was actually setting this up for my business, I would not put demo data in. But if you're trying to learn it and see what it has to offer, it's probably a pretty good option. So let's create the database and let it do what it needs to do. There we go. I kept having the uh, same kind of connection issue. I flushed the cache of the DNS on my local machine and now we are smooth sailing. So let's go ahead, put in our email and then the password that I just entered, log in. And then here we are, and you can see that I'm uh, apparently Mitchell Adam. This is part of that uh, demo data they went ahead and put in. And here we can see all the different applications that I have, or at least I have available to me. There are quite a bit, to say the least. Surveys, marketing automation, contacts, planning, subscriptions, help desk, and oh, a whole lot more. Up here we have our home menu, so if I click on that, we could go to apps, which is the page that we are currently on. If I click apps right here, go to main apps, we have categories of all the applications available to us here. Now do note the applications that say upgrade are kind of premium paid. If I do click upgrade, you can see it takes me here. This is the pricing, which for what you get, the pricing really isn't too bad, but we still have a lot of the uh, free applications available to us. So for example, if I wanted to enable, let's say this uh, project management software right here, I would just click on activate. It's gonna begin loading. And then it threw me over here. It threw me in Discuss, which is a different application. We have Discuss, Project, and Apps. The one I just installed was Project. Discuss is probably a uh, application that Project depends on. So let's go over to Project, and you can see it has some things in here already for us. Part of that demo data. So if I open one of these, for example, here under Office Design, we can see the project of this specific task, everything that's available. We have the in progress, done, canceled. We have a at risk here, which is cool. And that's based on the due dates we have for the various phases of this project. And for example, if I was responsible for one aspect of this project, I could just click and drag it over to done. Click, drag this one to done. And you could see the progress bar changing. And then of course I could add new subtasks, such as like move chairs, for example. I could assign it and then add it and then move this over to in progress. And that's really just a Really nice, easy to use project management software. Of course, there's lists, calendars. And to think this is just one aspect of this suite of applications. I could go to my specific tasks, reporting. So if I go to task analysis, we could see the actual progress of just about everything. And then of course we have some configuration and settings for this particular application. And that's just a brief overview of that. If we go to apps and let's say we wanted Inventory, we want an inventory management system. So all I need to do is click activate, let that go through the installation process. So I have receipts, delivery orders. So if I go to receipts, for example, we have our reference, the company, the source document. If I open up a specific thing, we have demand, we have a bunch of different resources. We can send messages, set quantities, print labels. So if I, let's say this with the price, confirm that. This is our new invoice and label for that specific item of inventory. So I could close that out, go back to our inventory overview. We have a delivery orders, scheduled dates, deliveries. We can see this is outgoing shipments, company warehouse stuff, really a whole lot going on. Looking up here, we have our overview operations products. If I go to our products page, you can see all the different items here. And let's say if I clicked on this cabinet with doors, here you could set your sales price, your actual cost, so you can calculate profits and all that. We have variance, inventory. You could add tracking by a unique serial number, for example. And I'm pretty sure, for example, if I go over to our applications again, and I believe I saw it down here, you could add a barcode scanner and actually kind of associate that and interconnect a lot of these applications. So super cool, we have attendance, skills management, Scroll up, Timesheets is one that I'd be interested in, but that's a upgraded tool. We have a website, the Enterprise Website Builder. So if I activated that, for example, it would then throw us over here, ready to build your perfect website. And it would just take you through this process. And this is looks like some like premium custom web hosted website builder, but it's really sitting within your cloud hosting suite of applications. So I want a business website for my video, video production service business. 
with a, a main objective to, let's say, sell more. Choose a palette. What do we want about us? Services, pricing. Let's do success stories. We could do a form, live chat, e-learning if we wanted to, build my website. Here we could pick a website theme. So let's just say this one. And boom, it's building our website just like that. There it is. The website is going to be hosted on the uh, primary root domain of your Uru installation. You can see I have my uh, home services, pricing, success stories, basically everything I added. If I click contact us, we have this nice contact us page, our welcome bot. So our live chat thing is built in, ready to go. It's uh, truly amazing what you can get out of this uh, software for essentially free. Here in our pages, if I go right here, let's go to our home page. Here under our website, we have our pages, so we can uh, click on them to edit them. We have is published, SEO optimized. If I go over to configuration, we can configure blogs. We have our form ranking tags, overall settings. So if I go here, I can change the domain, our live chat. I could edit that website name and oh, a whole lot more, including Google Analytics, sitemaps, things like that. Really nice stuff. And another thing I added real quick is the CRM. This is your customer uh, relationship manager. If I go over to it, this is kind of a how we follow and track leads. So we have new qualified proposition and one. And let's say if I got this one, I want it pop right over there. And we have sales reporting configuration for this. And of course, if you have a different kind of workflow or actual pipeline that your leads go through, you could customize this really however you would like to. Up here, we have some notifications. If I click on this little chat bubble, we have some of the tasks that are due. We have our chat, various channels. And then right here under the little watch, we can see some opportunities and whatnot. And of course, I could click here and go through really any of the applications that I plan on using. Some absolutely stunning stuff with how easy it was to actually get that set up. Again, I'll link down below to all the resources we referenced in this video. And if you do like this kind of content, do make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell because there are a ton of wonderful cloud computing. Make sure you check out the backlog of videos. And again, if you do want to try all this out, you can use that $100 60 day credit linked down below. With all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.